everyone myself vaibha in our today's session of visual j forex we will be taking a look on the indicator named variance this is a mathematical indicator which can be calculated by taking into account the prior price action for that we take the clustered candlesticks data for whatever time period we want to calculate the variance and depending on its uh, mean we take the divergence into account and calculate the variance this is a mathematical indicator which can be used to determine the strength of the trend for uh, finding the direction of the trend we have to use another indicator and uh, then in conjunction with this uh, variance indicator we can use uh, we can actually find the trend and the trend that is the direction of the trend and then we can initiate the trade in any given instrument as per our choice so here is the variance indicator block on the visual j forex platform board developed by the dicoscopy bank sa and uh, we have to determine these uh, input parameters and for that we will of course need to do the trial and error thing we will also have to observe that what is the combination which is likely to serve our purpose in a best way possible and uh, as you can observe that uh, when the price action is muted when there is not much of a movement in the given instrument the variance tends to be low and then as soon as the, the momentum comes in we see this variance should sub and that is actually the idea behind using the variance for uh, trading purposes so that we get involved only when there is new fresh price action after long consolidation long range bound moves and whenever new found uh, strength comes in we want to initiate the trade positioning and uh, for that purpose we can simply compare the current variance value or the, the last hours variance value to the variance value say a couple of hours back and uh, to determine uh, what should be the appropriate time frame to compare the variance we will have to do these uh, observations and then come to an price and of course as you might have observed the variance is uh, here the output value is almost having uh, seven decimal points and uh, to do the comparison you will have to keep this in mind and then uh, plan your uh, trade setup accordingly and uh, you can uh, then initiate the trade with the use of this uh, indicator now going back to the platform here we have this uh, indicator and whatever instrument we can trade on the jforex platform is uh, supported here so all these instruments which are listed here can be utilized to develop an uh, profitable algorithm of course to make it profitable we have to find out the logic and then we also have to run lot of test and uh, for long time and see if it has been consistent in the past if the results we are getting are statistically significant and if the results point to that direction then we can of course go ahead and uh, run it on the live account as well first we should run it on the demo account to get a good idea of its real time working and then only we would like to run it on the live account with the real money here we have changed the default instrument to the usd gpy so if you want to change here we can do that and uh, now coming to the variance calculated on the usd gpy here you can observe that uh, the usd gpy's variance values are having only four decimal point values and that is because the usd gpy is uh, having only two decimal points in its uh, valuation compared to the euro usd's uh, four and uh, because of that also we see these uh, variance values being uh, higher the variance value as i said can be calculated by simply taking into account the deviation and the prior price action and uh, as and when 
we see significant move in the either direction this uh, indicator is neutral to the direction of the movement it doesn't really deal with the direction of the movement it can be on the either side uh, either up or down all it uh, takes into account is the significant change in the price action compared to the prior levels that's all it takes into account and then we have this uh, variance indicator plotted on the USD JPY. Coming to the appropriate time frame, the appropriate time frame of course needs to be determined by us. So it can be anything from 10 seconds to one month. All these uh, time values are supported on the Visual J Forex platform. So we can use these values and uh, then depending on the profitability of the time frame we can decide to trade with it or simply choose a different time frame and here we will have these variance values for plotted on the lower side we can change it to 15 minutes or for that purpose any other time frame which you feel is good enough to initiate the fresh trading opportunities and as I said, we need to bring uh, another tools, another set of tools or any other indicator to help us guide the uh, direction of the trend. Here, we are not really getting an idea on which side the price action is happening. It can be on the either side. And uh, for the determination of the trend, we need uh, other indicators like moving averages or momentum indicators so we can use uh, all of these or uh, any of these on our uh, platform to build the automated trading setup now coming to these uh, input parameters as i said the output value is going to be dependent on these input parameters and it can uh, be anything these uh, 10 seconds so let us stick with the hourly time frame now shift shift is the look back period uh, if we use zero that means the current output value will be taken into account if we use uh, shift as one then the last hours value will be taken into account so that's how it works if we go back 10 hours in time uh, then the shift 10 will be needed so to do the comparison as i said to figure out if the variance is rising or if the variance is falling we will essentially need to compare the current value to the prior values and see how much is the deviation and uh, if the deviation exceeds our uh, designed uh, or our defined difference then the trade should be initiated so we can build such kind of setups also simply by taking multiple blocks of variance indicator and then doing the comparison between these uh, output values so that's why the shift is of highly important now time period here the time period is uh, given as five and that means five historical candles of one hour each will be taken into account and if i say change it to 20 then last 20 hours price action will be taken into account then comes the deviation standard deviation here so the we are uh, looking at the deviation from the mean level and how far the underlying instrument is deviating so for that purpose we use that other input parameter now let us change this to 20 to see what kind of difference we will see in the output value we will also try changing the standard deviation now we here we have this time period defined uh, for last uh, 20 candlesticks of one hour each so we have this uh, deviation which needs to be defined as well let us try to edit the deviation from one to say two and then observe to what extent the output value will change There is not uh, much of a significant change in the output value here I see. Now let us uh, try the combination of three. 
right now the variance value is 0.0163 for the current hour and if we edit it with standard deviation of 3 then also the price is uh, price variance is not uh, that different so essentially uh, the reason is that uh, we are more concerned with the price action happening here and uh, unless and until there is a big move on the chart we won't really see the variance changing too much and uh, of course the default values for the time period are uh, going to influence it more than the deviation because uh, the historical price action will be of crucial importance to see what is the current price action is pointing to if there is a significant move if there is a strong move compared to the last uh, 20 hours values that means newfound momentum is there and we should try to get involved in the direction of the move in the direction of the trend and uh, that's how we can use this output value output 14 here we get this and uh, as you might already be aware this uh, output value is also influenced by these uh, settings on which side it is calculated or either on the bid side or on the ask side and the applied price all is also of uh, crucial significance so let us again try to do some experimentation here we try out the different uh, applied price now currently the variance is being calculated on the closing price for example if we change this to high price now the closing price and high price okay so here as you can see we are seeing the variance for last 20 periods with standard deviation of 1 at 1 0.0164 and now we again edit it one more time we go to the low price and with the low price the deviation is not really that significant and it is uh, lower than the high price and the reason is simple because the price action uh, the high value has uh, deviated significantly from its prior consolidation level but if you consider the low values they haven't really gone far away from the prior uh, values and that is uh, the reason why we see the deviation is uh, comparatively lower in the variance for uh, low values so that's uh, the applied price and the difference being caused by the applied price and uh, if you want to do the comparison between uh, various uh, look back periods for the variance then you will have to make sure that all these applied prices are the same and uh, then only you will be able to figure out the change in the price after taking into account that uh, most of the input parameters need to be uniform apart from apart from the look back period and also we can use this open price now we go back to the closing price so that's it uh, for the indicator named variance we will uh, in coming sessions once we are uh, all familiar with these uh, various indicators we will eventually also try to figure out the technical setups which can be profitably deployed on our account and uh, we will then at that point in time again go more into details of the uses of this indicator till then have a fabulous time ahead tomorrow i will be back with a new mathematical indicator have a fabulous day ahead see you tomorrow goodbye